It was the biggest food fraud of the century. Consumers were shocked by news that some of their beef burgers, favourite frozen food and ready meals, contained horse meat. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 supermarket scandals. English people are carefully separating out their waste, but I think someone should come here and follow up to see how it's actually being disposed of. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the biggest controversies to strike Britain's supermarkets over the years. Let us know in the comments which shop you'll never visit again. Number 10. Caterpillar Copycats We're kicking things off with one of the most ridiculous controversies in recent memory. In 2021, Marks & Spencers had finally had it with other supermarkets copying its popular Colin the Caterpillar cake, beloved by children's birthday parties everywhere. Marks & Spencers have launched legal action against Aldi over a claim that the discount supermarket is infringing the trademark of its Colin the Caterpillar cake. Specifically, M&S targeted Aldi for its Cuthbert the Caterpillar cake, fundamentally identical except for the name. Or do you go back to the Very Hungry Caterpillar book, um, which could be the inspiration for all of it? So I think it's really tough to try and copyright anything food-wise. The company claimed Aldi was infringing on its copyright and a lawsuit got underway. It took almost a year for this to be resolved, with the retailers reaching a deal out of court. Is it nice or is it cynical? Are M&S just doing this because it's creating it's a, a lot of, as you say, buzz? The details aren't known by the public, but Cuthbert is still on sale. Now they're rowing over gin instead. Number 9. Asda's Low Wages 2022 saw the disastrous cost of living crisis spiral completely out of control in Britain. Why step into autumn when you can jump in? Wage stagnation had already been a massive problem for years, with minimum wage constantly falling further and further behind the rate of inflation. But it was revealed that Asda was offering an even worse pay rise than its competitors, which were paying over £10 an hour. Pay only went up by 3.25%, giving Asda's employees less money than they had the previous year because of inflation. After some rumblings about strikes and the threat of action from some of the UK's biggest unions, Asda finally agreed to raise wages in line with its rival supermarkets. Get the Asda price feeling this autumn. Number 8. Palm Oil For a long time, palm oil was used widely and recklessly in the processed food's most regular supermarket stock. But in the 2010s, the public opinion began to change. But for years, a large amount of palm oil production has been linked to deforestation and destruction of habitat for orangutan, tigers and elephants. It's been proven time and time again that palm oil is rarely actually sourced sustainably. There's 146 football pitches being chopped down every hour to make way for palm oil plantations. Because of this, some supermarkets have pledged to cut back their use of palm oil. Iceland was particularly notorious for doing this, as the company pledged to say goodbye to palm oil in its products, but missed its own deadline to do so, and later went back to using the stuff. If you really feel that strongly about palm oil, well, why have you still got 200 products at Iceland this morning to have it in there? How many orangutans are you personally killing? <laughs> the retailer also got into trouble in 2018 for a particularly dark advert about the problems with palm oil, making them look even more hypocritical now. Number 7. Multibuys Banned For years, one man has been raging a war on Britain's unhealthy kids, Jamie Oliver. Disliked by many because of his patronising attitude, in 2022, the disdain reached a fever pitch. Parents, carers, of course we're there to look after and love our children, but how much do parents, including myself, see their children? Also in the midst of the cost of living crisis, Oliver led a group outside Downing Street in an Eaton Mess themed protest against the government U-turning on banning multi-buy offers on junk food. I, I've seen what hopeless looks like. When I, when I did the school dinners campaign 15 years ago, which is where we had more legal standards for dog food and we had none for kids food 190 days of the year. The big problem though is that with more families than ever before struggling to heat their homes and feed themselves, making any food more expensive is totally tone deaf. 
For many families, it's a choice between eating poorly and cheaply or not eating at all. What would Jamie Oliver really prefer? Um, what would you say to people that say that this campaign is somewhat out of touch given inflation levels? No, it's levels? not out of touch. I, I, I would say there's a lot of stirrers uh, talking things that are not true. Number 6. Asda Sainsbury's Merger in 2018, the UK's second and third biggest supermarket chain proposed a large merger to try and take on Tesco's share of the market. This potential deal between these two giants in the industry would be a game changer. The, the, uh, the creation of this company would be the largest retailer in the UK. But immediately, people weren't happy with the idea. Consumers weren't convinced, and many of the country's largest unions, such as Unite and GMB, were steadfastly opposed because they feared massive job losses. It's expected both brands would keep their separate identities, but the deal does raise the prospect of job cuts and store closures. In the end, it looks as if people's fears were very much based in reality. How confident are you that you're going to get this deal past the Competition and Markets Authority? Well, we've obviously done a lot of work on how this will play out and uh, we're confident that we'll be able to put a very strong case to the CMA. After investigating, the Competition and Markets Authority blocked that merger in 2019, saying that it would be terrible for consumers. It would have increased prices, lowered product quality and reduced competition. Number 5. Four Four Fur she bought this one online, advertised as faux, but tests later revealed it was real fur from a raccoon dog. Much of the world is steadily drifting away from animal products like real leather and fur, largely because they think they're unethical and not environmentally friendly. But a few years ago, many major retailers operating in the UK, including high street brand TK Maxx, were found to be falsely marketing real fur as faux fur. What is it? It's animal fibre, because it's got the structural features that only animal fibres have. More shocking, TK Maxx has long had a policy of never stocking fur in its stores at all, though investors were able to walk right in and buy real fur at the time. According to the Humane Society, an animal rights charity, that is a common misconception. They say, in fact, real fur can now be so much cheaper than synthetic fur. The products were removed from sale, and a debate about banning real fur entirely reached Parliament. Number 4. Plastic Much like the trouble with palm oil, plastic is another major issue the British public care about. Reducing plastic waste and single-use plastic is very important, and retailers are supposed to be taking measures towards this. A BBC investigation has found that plastic waste from Britain that's supposed to be sent to Turkey for recycling is instead being dumped there and in some cases burnt. However, in early 2022, a story broke that major chains Tesco and Sainsbury's were both exporting plastic waste to other European countries against regulations. Filmed just before lockdown, all this was sent here for recycling. But now it lines the streets of Adana in southern Turkey. And some of it's a long way from home. They are supposed to be recycling this plastic, but instead shipped it off to sites in Turkey and Poland where it was burned. Once dumped, it's often burned. This fire lasted for two weeks. Green organisations and charities are against the UK exporting its plastic waste, especially when the plastic isn't disposed of correctly. Number three. Tesco accounting scandal. Immediately we launched an investigation which happened over the weekend and that investigation led me to think that there were some things that we needed to investigate further. The country's biggest supermarket was embroiled in a major accounting scandal in 2014 with investigations finding the company had overstated its profits to the tune of hundreds of millions of pounds. This is clearly a shock and it's another blow to Tesco after a string of profit warnings. Now they have overstated profit. The reason? At the time, Tesco was getting battered by its competitors and actually had a massive decrease in profits. Executives opted to fudge the numbers with a slimy accounting method, but the lies were uncovered by the Financial Conduct Authority. Four senior directors have been suspended while the investigation takes place to assess how much the Tesco board was in control of internal procedures. Lawsuits were brought against Tesco by investors, forcing it to pay out nearly 200 million, and charges were brought against three of the company's executives, landing them in court. Number 2. Food Waste We've known for years that this was happening, but in 2021, a massive survey came out revealing just how much food supermarkets are wasting. This is not food that the supermarket simply didn't manage to sell in time. In fact, this is food that didn't make it onto the shelves 
in the first place. Over 90% of unsold food in supermarkets was thrown away, despite much of it being totally fit for consumption and able to be donated to food banks. Well, this is the latest delivery they've had here. This is about six tonnes of food waste. They'll get 30 deliveries just like this one every single day. With more and more families having to resort to food banks every year, the scandal of tens of thousands of tons of food being thrown away to rot rather than donated was shocking. Is that we believe that is just over 1% of the in-date fit for human consumption food that could be passed to organisations like us and be fed to people in need. This applied to all of Britain's leading supermarket chains. None was pulling its weight where food waste was concerned. Number 1. Horse meat. In 2013, a food-related scandal like no other hit Britain and Europe. British firms have been told to test all their processed beef products for traces of horse meat or pork within a week. It was revealed that massive amounts of beef being sold in supermarkets, infamously Tesco, though it was in most other places too, was horse meat up to 60% in the case of one spaghetti bolognese ready meal. Tests carried out in Ireland found horse DNA in a number of big brand name beef products. One, a Tesco value beef burger, contained as much as 29% horse meat. Though horse meat is readily consumed in many parts of the world, in Britain it's still very taboo and the public was up in arms. Not only that, but it showed massive shortcomings in the food supply chain across all of Europe since it was difficult to trace where the undeclared meat came from. It took years for Tesco to recover from the controversy. Findus built a trusted brand over generations and it will take a long time to win back consumer confidence. This scandal will do great damage to the meat processing industry as a whole. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.